what's going on guys how you doing a uh, little bit of a different thing i'm doing to do a recording today uh instead of a live stream i would rest live on stream but we're gonna do a recording today because i'm gonna try something out um elden ring shadow of the earth tree trailer just dropped i'm looking at GameSpot 26 minutes ago as you guys know i am a huge elden ring fan didn't get to play it on stream at all like like that but we played dark souls 3 4 and had an amazing time so i'm gonna give you guys my full live not really live um full blank reaction i'm going in completely blind haven't seen it so let's get straight the fuck into it and we get an ad your rhythm with trident let's just close that okay put it in the full view pure and radiant he wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. Okay, there's, there's Moog. There is nothing more terrifying. I don't know why, but I just got the biggest chills. Hey, Thorin. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. I said, oh my god. Just what kind Mikola is doing here. Mikola. She is in the game. Fucking. What the fuck? Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. In the embrace of Lesmus flame. Come now. Arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Okay, I'm gonna say that looks fucking cool. Um, okay, so let's break it down a little bit. Let's because I did catch a few things. I think this is Mikola right here. I think this is Killer. definitely Mikola. Um, this is where the Moog boss fight was when he tried to. Uh, it was like an egg thing. I don't know the whole lore, but he tried to do like an egg thing and hatch somebody. Um, this is really cool. Where is it? The new Erd tree. This is really cool. It almost looks like it's like coming back alive. And I like how it's almost like a veil has been lifted. You see how like it's kind of like it's like curtain drapes. They've been draped down over the lands like some sort of something new is coming as like drape it down and then you open them all up and they all fucking flourish out like it's like a it's very different i love this uh, the shot is amazing the veil's been lifted um i mean honestly it looks incredible and this might be a new sort of great rune because we've technically lost the runes now so this might be something completely new um well, let me set a let me set a timer for my chicken tendies so i'm gonna do 15 minutes um, this might be something new, some sort of new great rune, um, new sword, new items, new armor pieces. They all look fantastic. Um, this sort of reminds me of the person that was in, uh, Reichard's Manor, the woman. This kind of reminds me of her a little bit. I don't know exactly, but, oh, big. Okay, so this, 
is this actually might be God. No, this actually might be more God because when you kill him in his second boss fight near the Erd tree, he looks like this when his like his whole form kind of goes away. He looks like this, which means this could be millennia. Why did that? Okay, cool. But I don't think that's millennia. However, that was the daughter. So this, you know, possibly this could be millennia right here. I don't know. I don't think it will be. I mean, because think about it. He's perched like this. If it's a mother and a son, usually the son is above the mother. So this might actually be his um, wife if he ever had one power. But he was trapped in the sewers. So I don't really know. But, you know, just the way the pose like this. It kind of looks like he's the father. This is his wife or his daughter or somebody like that. But somebody definitely reports. I think this is big. Um, new jars. This might be where the jar people are made, where Alexander was made. Um, this is a new area in the game. This isn't... This is neither... So this kind of reminds me of... Um, is it Ferran's Keep? No, that's fucking, that's Dark Souls 3. I'm getting my places mixed up. Uh, wherever the dragon is, it kind of reminds me of that where it's kind of floating in the abyss, but it's connected to the, um, to the mainland. So that's interesting. New kind of fire giant sort of deal, but he looks really cool. And then we have some pure suckage from this fucking guy. Um, so this is interesting. This guy, this guy, this guy has the horns. And the aesthetic of how the horns would come out of him, that jump attack is crazy. Um, about this kind of feels like Morgoth, how he yeah, used to have the bones coming out, but this is an is actually Morgoth's. No, Morgoth used uh, like light base. He didn't use electricity, so that's that's wrong. Actually, this is a whole new enemy. This person, we've got a viper. I actually don't know. We got to actually have some wings in the back here, almost. This is a very cool character. She's definitely using a lot of blood red, so a lot of blood magic, probably a lot of bleed, you know, fire, fire red. Um, I don't know who this could be. He does, so he or she, she does have the flowing red locks that Radagon would have. So maybe this could be like a bastard child or somebody that Radigan never told about somebody had. Because um, the red box were, some would call it a curse because it was the giants who mainly had flowing red locks. And Radigan had that as well because he was actually half giant. So this is very nice. I love this aesthetic. Kind of, She actually has viper eyes right now, right here, if you can see that. Um... Just very cool, very cool. Um, we have some huge new gameplay. Uh, new sorcery. This wasn't in the game. Um, I like a minigun arrow thing, which looks awesome. <laughs> um, beast roars. So a new beast roar instead of the dragons. You have bears, which is nice. This is an entirely new area, I think. Or this might actually be. I think the game, the map of the game, is going to get an uplist. There's going to be a, non, a lot of new elements that look like a new map, but I think it's going to be the same map, just uplifted, because this area was definitely not in the uh, in the game. This is a new sword here. Um, so this is actually a guy. So this might be another cavalry type of, like a knight cavalry kind of guy. Um, with the pig, with the sword, he's definitely going to be... A, Fucking hard one to fight. This is like a hippo. That's sick. That's incredible. Uh, new um, under areas now. Because this like cavern, I don't think we've ever seen. Maybe the gargoyles is the best example of this. But there's going to be, or no, Estelle. Like an Estelle water kind of thing, but with an actual cave behind it, which is very cool. This guy looks creepy as fuck. Um... I don't think they would, they wouldn't show the final boss fight, I feel like. So maybe this could be the penultimate or the lead up. But also it is a DLC, so they might actually show the final boss fight. But I mean, they've been working on this for what, two, two years now? Two, two, three years. So, I mean, they've had a lot of time to work, but Elden Ring is a very big game. So you need a substantial DLC to even feel like it's 
worth paying for. But um, I'm very excited. Very, very... Um, dude, we have... This year, this year of gaming has actually been very uplifting from the crappy shit we've had for the last two years. I'm very happy about this. We've had... MW3 was the huge biggest disappointment. Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, awful. Live service games, basically lying to the whole gaming community about um, how much money you have to pay. And, and the grind was awful, and nobody gave a shit. Riding was terrible. And I'm so happy that we are back on track. Helldivers 2 brought us back. Elden Ring's going to come out. GTA 5, GTA 6, my apologies. And um, we are getting back on the track for gaming. Space Marine 2, Warmer 40K. And it's going to be incredible. And um, I cannot wait for this game, really. And definitely be sure to check out the streams when this comes out because I'm going to be playing the shit out of it. I actually might try to beat it all in one stream. So that'll be fun. I'll do the, the, um, the challenge, like challenge run communities of Elden Ring are going to have a ball with this. And um, I hope to see you guys. Tell me, you guys think of the, tell me what you guys think of this in the comments, please. And uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Get us to 100 subscribers so I can do a 12-hour stream. And maybe we'll do it um with a long game but uh i am so excited to see this hope you guys are excited as well hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one